So today's workout, um, the piston, uh, is pretty simple, where we're just gonna be working um, 12 different strength exercises, one big pod, we'll go around it three different times. Um, so what we're gonna be doing, like I said, strength movement, and then boom, on to the next strength movement. So we have 35 seconds of work and 25 seconds of rest for the first two rounds, then the last round is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest on those movements. Some of these are gonna be a little bit more plyometric, but I think this is kind of a good balance of, uh, a little bit of a balance of mix of both. So should be kind of a good combo. So we'll go ahead and get you guys a uh, bumping. I'm gonna go through the demos right now. Anybody else comes in late, we'll let them on in. But otherwise, I think you guys have done a lot of these movements too. Um, if you do see, we have number two is everybody's favorite donkey kicks, which I think really no one likes, but we're gonna go ahead and do them. Uh, so to start off, you're coming into a higher set, lunge jumps, eight total, so four each side, and then you finish up with that and you're moving into lunge pulses, four each side. With the donkey kicks, number two. So we're down to this kind of plank position. The easiest option is gonna be these butt kicks. Then you can move to a butt tap. Final movement is up into a full kick upward. So I would really suggest, especially if you haven't done them in a while or haven't done these before, start with the butt kicks first, move up to the double butt kicks, and then just try to kick up slowly. Don't worry about doing a ton of reps on these. Butterfly sit-ups, legs will just be crossed outward, coming into a standard sit-up. Try to use that core as much as possible, not necessarily the rest of the body. Burpees, burpee back, boom. You're kicking over to the side, middle, left, Side, boom, right back in. After that guy, we'll move into leg raises, slow, steady, and consistent. Bend the knees a little bit if you need to. Next up, we're doing lunges. We've done these a lot too. Right out in place, either stepping back or forward. You're kind of in a little bit of a squat in between each one. Down from there, we're moving into a glute bridge, push-up combo. So what you're gonna be trying to do is do even number of each reps. So it's two glute bridges, flip them around, two push-ups, flip them back around, four, four. If those even numbers are a little bit too high, just start at one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Next up, got simple bicycle uh, crunches. Slow, consistent, steady pacing that whole time. After that, squat with the hands up on the heads. We just got two left, so we're down into a push-up. What we're gonna be doing here is down to that 90, quick little pulse, full push-up, half little pulse, back down. So you're kind of pulsing at each end. Finally, we're gonna finish up with a broad jump forward. So nice big jump forward, little hops. Ah, I think that'll be a good finisher that we can move on uh, right to finish up. Obviously, that's what a finisher means. So we'll go ahead, get you guys bumping on that warm up, and then we'll get you into them. So start to ready yourself up. We'll get rolling in this one in five, four, three, two, one. Nice, easy run and punch right here for me. Sticking strong, nice and tall, too. Five seconds up, then we're moving to jumping jacks. Three, two, one. Jumping jacks right here for me. This is a great workout too, to maybe take the first rep or the first round, or maybe the first 15 seconds in a round uh, for a little bit more of a warm up. Three, two, one, stagger the feet. External rotation out through those hips. Quick little staggered feet. External rotation for me. We're gonna be popping on down to the ground after this, baby. Move that baby over and we're good. Drop them on down into a set of mountain climbers. Nice and easy right here for me, but still trying to stay nice and straight. Nice and strong that whole time. Push it out for about another five seconds. Three, two, one, drop them on down. Roll those hips left to right. Gonna move into glute bridges right after this. Good, five more seconds, three, two, one. Switch them up into glute bridges, driving those hips. We have these in the workout too. 
10 seconds, then we'll stand up into that growing stretch. Push in four, three, two, one. Stand them on up, deep squat down as much as you can. Stretch through those hips. Good, good, good. Hit five more seconds and we'll ease them on back up. Three, two, one. Stand them up, quick little rotation here for me. You're up nice and tall. Light on those feet too. Got a lot of outdoor exercisers today. Looks good. Seems like it's a nice day outside. Three, two, one. Relax, high knees right in place. And then we're gonna scoot into some of those burpees. What I would suggest on this set of burpees, focus on giving yourself a push up each time, not just dropping to the ground. Three, two, one, burpee back. Try to give me a strong push up. Maybe even walk those feet in. We're gonna start with lunge jumps to kick this off, and then we'll be moving pretty quickly into some lower body or upper body movements too. Three, two, one, relax. So eight lunge jumps or normal lunges, and then four pulses. Eight total jumps, four pulses. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Take these into a little bit of a steady positioning too. Slow them down, maybe if you usually jump, now's the time just to warm them up a little bit more. Don't worry if you're moving a little bit more slowly, that's fine. So we're working 35 seconds, 25 seconds of rest. Keep them coming, keep them coming. So on these strength movements, we will have a lot more rest than potentially normal. So we really wanna to try to kind of grind yourself out on some of these movements. Good work, good work, good work. Pushing five. Four, three, two, one, relax. So goal today, try to work as much as you can during that workout set. It's gonna really help you on out because you do have a lot longer time to rest. So we got about 15 seconds of rest left right here. Let me let Lauren in. You guys are doing those donkey kicks right now. So five seconds down here, butt kicks or the double kicks or the full donkey. Three, two, one, go. You guys are gonna have three rounds to do this too, so don't feel like you need to go right away into those full donkey kicks. Even if you're just doing the butt kick too, make sure that when you bring those feet down, you're not slamming down into the ground. You wanna still be nice and light. Ten seconds left, ten seconds left. So if I'm doing that full donkey kick, I'm probably gonna reset, regather myself in between each rep. Three, two, one, relax. Down onto the ground, we're gonna be hitting sit-ups. And those are a great opportunity too, where they kind of help you if you wanna work on a handstand or something like that to try to help get you more vertical. Down to the ground, sit-ups in about 10 seconds. And they're great to do like two reps, at the butt kicks, and then one rep, full donkey kick, and alternate back and forth. Three, two, one, go. Sit up, up for me. I feel like I'm probably just gonna end up talking about these donkey kicks the entire time, but um, it is important to say, hey, if I only get two of them in in that 35 seconds, perfectly fine. 15 seconds to go. We're gonna be standing back up for a few more lunges right here. Push 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. So a lot of these exercises too, not necessarily um, working the same muscle groups back to back. So that's why I kind of said, hey, we have this 25 seconds of rest. Really push yourself during those 35 seconds of work. So we got two lunge jumps, one each side, and then two quick little squat pulses. Your goal from here to just keep moving that whole time. Three, two, one, go. Boom, boom. I don't need you to go crazy fast or anything. You can see we got 10 seconds done. I'm just working at a steady, similar pace that whole time. That squat isn't a full squat, just a little bitty um, pulse for me. You guys are doing really well with this one. This is a lot on that lower body. 
Good work, good work, good work. Push five more seconds, five more seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Hit into that burpee. A little bit different than a normal burpee. Feet are kicking back just like normal. Boom, from here, then you just pick a side, kick the feet out, middle, other side, middle, boom. Jump them on back up. So the feet just go each way, each time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. You can always walk those feet back, walk them out to the side, slow them down a little bit. So if you slow down that movement and you slow down the burpee into like a walk, it's really only difference is that it's just gonna work more of your core, work a little bit more stabilization as opposed to bringing that heart rate up. Um, like it normally would. So it's really your choice too, to adjust it as, as you need to. 10 seconds left. You guys are down on the ground after this one. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So we're down on the ground into a leg raise. If you want, pop those hands underneath your butt to bring that back a little bit to flatter. But you're stopping where you need to. Once I get past this position, doesn't really need to move back here. I'm not going to accomplish too much. You don't have to come all the way down to the ground though either. Three, two, one, go. Slow control down. Boom, bring them on back up. If you bend those knees just a little bit, that's going to help you out a little bit too. So legs straight, going to be the toughest portion. If you bend those knees, you bring that lever in just a little bit. See, it'll kind of help you out. Ten seconds. Big goal here is to really try to actively fight against those legs falling down with that core. So slow yourself down. Three, two, one, relax. Maybe you can give yourself a two or three count, three or four count even on the way down. We're gonna be standing them back up. So back to lunges again. I think this is the last set of lunges that we got. Yep. So that little midpoint squat where I hold it here, walk yourself front or backwards. If you really want to walk around and do this, that's fine too. Three, two, one, go. If for some reason too you find maybe that squat irritates a knee or something like that, when I do lunges I find it a lot more effective for myself to be moving and actually walking with it. Feel free just to come hit and do a full normal lunge right here. You can always move around or stay in place while you're doing lunges. 10 seconds left. Great job, y'all. Great job. Pushing four, three, two, one, and relax. We're on the ground for the next three exercises. So coming up, we have those glute bridges and the push-ups. What I might suggest, since the glute bridges are generally going to be easier than the push-ups, do like a two to one. So maybe try doing two glute bridges, one push-up four glute bridges, two push-ups, so on and so forth. Three, two, one, go. So try to roll yourself over as quickly as you can. Two, transition from exercise to exercise, nice and quick. 35 seconds isn't a lot of time to move back and forth between these two. So really try to fight through them. Boom, crank through them quickly. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. I was actually lying when I said we were on the ground for three exercises, it's only two. Three, two, one, cut them on out. So we've done these bicycles numerous times. I think you guys have done really well with them too. Big key, remember, I want you to go slow, steady, and control. Aiming that shoulder a little bit more for that knee as opposed to the elbow. You don't need to hit that knee with the shoulder but you're just kind of, boom, aiming it towards that direction. Three, two, one, go. Biggest key I want you to think about is that you're getting both your shoulder blades off the ground too, when you rotate. So we don't wanna just rotate on the ground. If I'm rotating to the left, my left shoulder shouldn't just dip down into the ground. We got 15 seconds left and then we're standing on up.
I think I commend you guys a lot on these bicycle crunches, but I can never actually see you doing them. So I'm just assuming that you're doing super well. Three, two, one, relax. Take your time, stand them on up. We're gonna move into a set of squats. So standard squats, then we have push-ups after this baby, then one more, get a little breather. Hands up on the head is what we're shooting for, trying to help open you up nice and wide. Steady squat positioning that whole time. 35 seconds, maybe not a crazy amount of time to do squats, so grab a weight if you want them, or speed up. Three, two, one, go. So if you're moving a little bit more quickly in those squats and you wanna to try to get a lot of reps in, what I suggest is really trying to still get to that same depth each time. Get to that same depth each time. Good work, Jennifer, grabbing that med ball. Guys are doing well, doing well. 15 more seconds. Punch them on out. Almost done, almost done. 10 left here, 10 left. Push through three, two, few more squats, one, and relax, good. Okay, this next one, we haven't really done much of this tempo push-up work, but what you're doing, when you get down to that bottom position, instead of coming right back up, boom, quick little half push-up, full push-up. Half push-up at the top, half push up at the bottom. So you're thinking about that. You come up, back down, boom, drive them. Three, two, one, go. Doesn't have to be a very big movement. Quarter push up is fine, two on each end. But we're gonna be holding ourselves in that bent arm position a little bit more, so this is gonna probably be a little bit more challenging. But arms get a long breather after this. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and done. Good work. So last one we have right here. Broad jumps forward, you're jumping yourself back too. So depending, if you have a lot of space, I would suggest two big jumps forward and then Essentially, you're just doing these small hops to get back to where you started. Feel free just to duck walk forward and duck walk back. Three, two, one, go. I wanna really try to focus on a quick transition between that forward jump and the backward jump and back again. So try to keep moving that whole time. Aiden and Lisa, good transitions. Good job, good job. Perfectly fine too, if you just hit one jump forward, two probably little jumps backward. Push out 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Good work y'all, soft little landing two, four, three, two, one, and relax. 45 second rest, we're coming back through those again. It's the same timing, 35 seconds on, 25 off. When y'all are in those little backward jumps, Try not to lean so far forward that you're just doing these small hops on the toes. I want you to try to still jump with both or with my entire foot on the ground. Land with your entire foot on the ground too. 20 seconds left. Scooting all the way back up into those lunge jumps and the lunge uh, staggered position. So pulses. Eight lunge jumps, four pulses each leg. Five. Four, three, two, one, go. So I think great thing with kind of these workouts where we go through the same set three times is that you know how tough it was the first time. You can push yourself a little bit harder. Know what exercises may be really easy for you and you can speed up, hit a few more reps, know which ones were really challenging. Maybe you, on this one, do a lunge instead of a lunge jump. Perfectly fine for you. 10 left, 10 left. Rolling four, three, two, one, relax. Always kind of comes back to think about how you're feeling. If you think, hey, maybe I'm just not up to it for a lunge jump today, just feel a little bit freaky, a little bit cranky, just do a normal lunge instead. Even if that you're here, that's a good thing. But for donkey kicks, we're all doing donkey kicks. Down to the ground, tap those butt first, move your way up, three, two, one, go. 
And these fellows donkey kicks I just did, if you're watching on YouTube, I guess, you're only maybe getting up a little bit high up off the ground. You don't even have to kick those feet back to try to advance to a little bit of a different donkey kick. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So maybe you even just try, if you guys wanna watch right now, instead of that full kick, boom. I'm not even tapping my butt each time. I'm just kind of slowly working my way up to it. So there's even a little bit of an intermediate level too. Down on the ground, we're hitting the uh, sit-ups again. Three, two, one, and go. Think about where those hands are and how much they're moving. Don't bring them all the way back behind your head and then throw yourself forward for 35 seconds. I want you to really focus on that form. Give me a strong activation into that core. 10 seconds left. Drive three, two, one, boom. Back on up. So I know we have a lot of lunges in today's workout. Um, like I've said, tweak them for squats, maybe. You can go into a full squat and two pulses here. If that lunge just maybe tweak something out a little bit. But we're moving into those two lunge jumps, two squat pulses. Once again, we're only working for 35 seconds and you get rest. So try to maintain that movement the whole time. Three, two, one, go. I know these get pretty tough pretty fast. Just slow on down a little bit, catch your breath, big old deep breath, think about what you're trying to do this for, and then just get on after them. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Good work, Peggy, good work. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. From what I've seen, you guys are doing a fantastic job working through that whole work time. Good work, good work, good work. Three, two, one, and relax. Even holding that med ball on this one, Jennifer, that's pretty rough. Okay, into those burpees again. Same thing, kick those feet back, out, out, in, in. Once again, like I said, if I move down to maybe this walking position and I walk my feet out and in, doesn't necessarily make it easier. Maybe you're just working your core a little bit more. Three, two, one, go, burpee back. Feet out wide when those feet come in for that burpee too. We wanna end in a nice squat position not with those feet so close together. If you guys wanna make this really tough, you can do those one-arm burpees we were doing on Monday, too. Just take one arm out of the equation and get pretty wild with it. Five seconds left, five left for me, guys. Three, two, one, boom, relax. Down to the ground, so leg raises again. If you maybe find that a little bit challenging too, you can feel free to drop one down to the ground at a time. If you wanna make it a little tougher too, you can hold for two seconds down at the bottom and then bring yourself up. Three, two, one, go. Toughest movement would just be into this slow, steady descent, hold, slow, steady ascent and you're just moving back and forth. So my legs move slowly that whole time. My core is kind of under tension that entire time too. Regardless of how you're doing these, don't spend much time at the top. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, pop it on back up into those lunges again, stepping forward. Maybe you want a little bit more lateral motion too. You can feel free to sit here, come into a lateral lunge squat hold too, since we've done a lot of just front to back movement. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So either popping out to the side or into that front to back lunge. You guys can pretty much choose your own decision. 
doing one or the other, not going to throw you so out of balance after one day. But I think it is really good. We don't have a lot of, or really any lateral motion in this workout. So it's good to toss in there sometimes too. 10 more seconds for me, y'all. 10 more seconds. We'll be dropping on down to the ground. Three, two, one, relax. So down to those glute bridges and push-ups. This is an easy one too. If you think, hey, I wanna work on my upper body a lot more or work on my push-up power, then double the push-ups. So maybe you do two one push-ups, four two push-ups, and so the smaller number is the glute bridges. If you think I'm stronger on the lower body already, I wanna work my upper body. Your choice. Three, two, one, go. Otherwise, even numbers, gonna be kind of a good measurement. Coming up on halfway. Three, two, one, relax. Important mark there. Y'all can stay on the ground, we're doing bicycles. Um, important mark there is since we only have 35 seconds of that set, make that transition from the glute bridges to the push-ups as quick as possible. Just roll over to the left side, roll back over to the right, and get after it. Bicycles coming up in five. Two, one, go. Eliminate the legs if you need to. Just come up and do a twist crunch, or you can also eliminate the arms if you want to. If you do that, still give me a little bit of an active crunch in that um, core. So we don't want to just kind of lay down on the ground like this. We want to at least turn that core on first if you're not going to do the rotation through the upper body. 10 seconds left, fight through these. These get tough quickly too. Those obliques a little bit too smaller. Roll in three, two, one, relax. Gonna stand you on up. So we're coming into squats right here. Hands up onto the head. Like I said, this is a good opportunity to maybe try to speed that pace up a little bit too. But we don't want to blow you out of whack. Um, still give you that nice strong depth. Chest is still up nice and tall too. Five, four, three, two, one, go. This also could be a little bit of an opportunity where you say my hips are a little bit tight. Maybe I'm just gonna spend some time down here into this um, deep hip stretch. So really your choice. If you think I'm not feeling the greatest today, need a little bit more mobility work, you can always sub one or two of these exercises out. 15 seconds left. Maybe you come into a workout and you did a heavy squat day yesterday and we're doing squats a lot today. This could be a good alternative. Three, two, one, relax. Down to the ground, this ground. So push-ups. Once again, fight yourself. Corner little push-up, half push-up at the top and the bottom. Punching out for 10. Still keeping that back nice and straight too this whole time. That's what we really want to fight against. Three, two, one, go. So sometimes it's good to work down in those areas where we're strongest, strongest right up at the top, probably weakest down at that really bent position. It's toughest to push yourself out. So that's why we do that extra little push up right there. Just gonna hit five more seconds. One more set of broad jumps. Three, two, one, relax. Take your time here y'all. So I want you to really push yourself on these jumps. Two, try to cover some distance, quick jumps, quick transition once again. Once you hit that second jump or that first jump and you get to the end, start moving right into that backward jump or that back pedal. Four, three, two, one, go. Remember we're trying to keep those whole feet down on the ground too. 
We're not necessarily just bunny hopping onto our toes. Down to a little squat, little squat. Nice distance, Aiden, on that. So it looked like you're going for the entire room, just covering the full square footage of that room. Good work. Now Lisa tries to step up her game. I definitely think that jump was a lot longer than your past one. Five more seconds, five more seconds. Be careful out there. Three, two, one, relax, relax. 45 seconds, knocking through this just one last time, one last time here. So only difference that we're gonna hit here, um, we're working for 40 seconds, four zero, in case you didn't notice that, um, and then resting for 20 seconds. So work's gonna be five more, rest is gonna be five less. What that probably means, not too much. Um, but we still want to try to work as much as we can during that 40 seconds. Fight out to work that entire time. Getting back at it, lunge jumps and the lunge pulses coming up right here. You guys have been great with this one so far. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Eight lunge jumps, four pulses. Rolling through halfway, halfway. Those legs are gonna be tired, but still give me a nice stable jump each time. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Steady rolling, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. There you go, Peggy, good. Finish that last set up. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good work, 20 seconds only, down to the donkey kicks. So I challenge you if you have it, Try jumping both feet at the same time. Try at least one rep of that. So you saw right here, boom. That's good enough right at that point. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I assume donkeys just don't come out of the womb knowing how to kick. They probably have to be taught it too. So start somewhere. They'll need to scale these versions sometime too. Fight them out. I know this is one of the tougher exercises. Slam softly on those legs still. Don't be slamming those feet down. We want a nice soft landing. 15 more seconds, and then you can rest. And that's the last time you gotta do these suckers this week. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. I'm not even gonna take the heat for those donkey kicks either. That 45 had them programmed. I didn't change anything about it. Butterfly sit-ups, one last time. Three, two, one, go. Great opportunity to really catch your breath during that 20 second rest. So think about your breathing when you're just sitting there waiting. Big, deep breath in. It's a great opportunity where the donkey kicks, heart rate's up probably a little bit more, and the sit-ups might bring them down just a little bit too. Strong finish, y'all, strong finish. Got two down after this, 10 to go. That doesn't really sound promising, but we're getting there, we're, we're getting there. Rolling five. Oh, three down actually. Four, three, two, one, boom, relax. Lunges, a couple more times. So bump it into, I think that's a squat lunge. Oh no, yeah, so two lunge jumps, two of the squat pulses. So right from here, here's your opportunity to, on that, no, no, on the mid point, we'll go left to right. So lunge jump, two pulses. Three, two, one, go. Two quick little pulses, boom. Quick lunge jumps at this point. This one's I think probably one of the tougher ones. I haven't really done it that whole time, but I know it's gonna get rough. Here's where you really wanna to try to dig a little bit deeper, fight to keep them moving that whole time. You're still right into that squat, right into that lunge. Great job, great job. Halfway done, we're past halfway right now. 15 seconds left. Last five seconds, one more rep, three, two, one, relax. Great job, burpees up. So kicking the feet back again. 
We'll be down on the ground after this baby. Leg raises next. Legs get a little bit of a breather here. Three, two, one, go. I don't know if these little fancy burpees make them more bearable for y'all, but at least you don't have to go all the way to the ground on this one. Making sure that back's nice and straight too. Just because those feet are moving or we're kicking out to the side, we don't want to drop those hips down. Past halfway, past halfway. Finish on up strong, guys. 10 seconds left. One or two more reps in. All you need. Four, three, two, get to where you can. One, boom, jump them on up. So we're down to the ground into those leg raises. Fight yourself through. Remember, pop those hands under the butt if you want to. Help bring that back down to the ground a bit. Three, two, one, go. Toughest positioning is essentially going to be moving that whole time with a little bit of pause at the bottom. I would try to suggest to do this at the toughest position possible for you right now. Because we're halfway through. This is one you guys can fight through. Brain through this baby, slow, steady movement. Control that breathing too. Some of these slower movements, a little bit easier to hold that breath the entire time. Four, three, two, one, relax. So here's the one I was kind of mentioning earlier. If y'all want, either back into that lateral little lunge right here, or you're into the squat, midpoint, forward. Once again, your choice. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's kind of a big difference. Lateral motion, just gonna work a little bit more of the outside of the glutes, too. And then you're gonna work just a little bit more, obviously, lateral stability, too. Because my weight's shifting on out to this side, and I have to try to stop it from moving. 20 seconds here, 20 seconds. Flopping on down to the ground for a couple in a row from here. You guys are past halfway too. Just finish up strong. 10 seconds left, down to the ground. Four, three, two, one, and relax. So we have 40 seconds of this one this time, so you should get further than you got last time. Really try to hammer them home, glute bridges, into the push-ups. Remember, alter reps, double one if you want to, if you want to work a little bit more on that skill, on that exercise. Three, two, one, go. Guys are up at halfway. Make that transition still, like I said, nice and smooth. Flip them on over, right into the push-ups. Just push yourself up from the ground. That's rep number one, 10 seconds left. Hitting bicycles next, then we're at the home stretch. Three, two, one, boom, flop them on back. Bicycle crunches, extend out as much as you can. Get those hips, get those shoulder blades up off the ground. Hips actually aren't coming on the ground. Keep them on the ground, that would be weird. Three, two, one, go. Always got an option, take the arms out of that equation. It's a great stabilization exercise, just a little bit different for you than that normal bicycle, but here, my shoulder blades are up off the ground. My abs are still doing a lot of work. My core still under a lot of tension. Keep those legs moving, full extension at the knee if you can. 10 more seconds, almost done, almost done. Three, two, one, and donezo. Squats coming up right now. 
If you really want to push it on this one too, what I would even suggest is do two normal squats, one squat jump, two, one, two, one. You can do two, two, three, three, whatever you want. But if you really want to push it a little more, bump into a jump. Three, two, one, go. But still giving some normal squats. So there's two, boom, one jump up, one, two, on the third one, strong jump up. Can also just keep on moving. Chest up tall, 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 as much as you can. Good work, y'all, good work. Two exercises left, cranking them up after this one. Good jumping, Pascal, good work, good work. Way to crank them on out. 10 seconds left here, down to the ground for that last set of push-ups. Five, four, get them through one more time, couple more squats, two, and relax. Good fight guys. Everybody's doing a fantastic job working all the way to the very end of that countdown. Right at the end when I tell you to switch is when you're moving over, not before that. Push-ups down, half push them at the top, half at the bottom. Three, two, one, go. If you need a little bit of a rest, try to just boom. Stay up in that plank position, breathe for a little bit, and get back down into it. If you can't move at all though, drop to the knees, widen the feet out a little bit. If you really need to, just pop onto the knees and relax for about five, 10 seconds and get back after it. We're halfway done already, 20 seconds on these push-ups. I guess I say already and it's very subjective. That 20 seconds felt quick to me, it might've felt like an eternity to y'all. Push through these last little bit, five seconds here, finish up strong once again, boom, three, two, one, done. Last set here. On this last one, I want you to really, really focus. Quick transition. Try to think about right when you're landing into that jump and you're going to be moving backwards, you transition into that backward movement quickly. Four, three, two, one, go. Strong jump up, boom. Land those feet, either a quick little back pedal back or those quick jump backs. This is a good exercise to think about. We're changing position. We're stopping and starting numerous times, and we want to try to do that as quickly as possible. Good for any sport we're playing or just any kind of normal life, too. Crank 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, y'all. There you go, Peggy. Good little switch up, too. Good work, good work. Four, three, one more time down and back. Two, one, and done. Relax them back. Nice high five. I saw out there too. You guys did, like I said, really good work with that one too. So I think knowing the difference between, like if that was a 45, 15 um, the entire time, it would have been a little bit more challenging to kind of go at the same pace or maybe you think I need to pace myself out a little bit there. But from what I saw, everybody did a great job, like working all the way to the whistle, all the way to that end, and really utilizing those 35 seconds um, to their fullest. So super job, everybody. Um, this is our official recording studio now at the rec. Used to be the cycle studio. We'll gussy it up a little bit come fall, but we'll see. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic Wednesday, everybody. Um, great weekend, too. I'll see you all next week. Yeah, Adios. Thanks. Pascal, um, did you did you get that worked out with the that for?